Hi guys, I hope you've all been well. Alicia Doherty recently did a live, a live unboxing. And I had a few issues with it. So let's just get straight into it. I'm sorry, it's from Charity Davis. How ironic that the first gift was from someone called Charity. Because Lishy is the last person who needs charity. She makes millions of dollars a year. And people are sending her gifts. And on the rare occasions that Lishy says she's going to do some charity and give something away, she never follows through with it. For example, you remember Sandwich Gate, don't you? And then the time she said she was going to start doing a monthly donation and never did. Anyway, regardless of that, let's carry on. So she got two reusable cups, which is ironic because she only uses disposable water bottles. She's had so many of these reusable cups and they never fucking use it. I bet she sent two million of them to landfill. I bet Alicia Doherty is one of the main reasons we're not allowed plastic straws anymore when we go to Mackey's. So for all you delusional haggis brain fans of hers, who were sending a shit every month, if that a thought the next time your stupid paper straw collapses on you when you're trying to drink a chalky milkshake, I fucking hate those straws. The next thing she got was a load of lip balms and lip scrubs, which is good. Because I saw a photo the other day that reminded me of her and she's got the lips of an anglerfish, in my opinion. In the same package as that, they obviously know her well because she got a load of soaps. Oh my gosh. Look at all these soaps. Sorry, I was just in disbelief. Look how amazed she is to see soap. Yes, Lishy, soap is what most people use to clean themselves. If a company is sending you 48 bars of soap, maybe take the hint and take a look at your hygiene standards. Holly, rugged. You might like rugged. But that's a good idea, isn't it? Take a good long whiff of whatever chemicals a complete stranger has sent to you in the post. Then hand it to your kid to take a good whiff as well. Honestly, your brain must be smaller than a budgie's penis. Could be literally anything in these parcels. Strangers could be sending her anthrax. And she's sticking it up a Squidward nose and then handing it to one of her kids to sniff. She's as sharp as a ping pong ball, this one. Now, this part here, I had to talk over it because she's telling everybody exactly where the kids are at that moment in time. Bearing in mind, this is on a live video. If any of her crazy fans are nearby at the time, they could easily find out where these kids are and get to them. Because the cockwomble mother of the, those poor kids has just told them. Now, this is completely irrelevant, but what the fuck is she wearing? Don't get me wrong, I'm glad she's got rid of the Mormon-type dresses. I don't know what it is, but whatever Lishy wears makes her look like she's auditioning to be on Jerry Springer. Now she's pretending to listen to her kids. Um, it's not pajamas because she said it's so dark out that she can wear pajamas all day. That was her making excuses as to why your kid's still in pajamas in the middle of the day. Because she knows people are going to call her out for it. She's got more excuses than a pregnant nut. We've all had days when our kids have been in pyjamas all day. The only thing is, we don't have to hide it because we're not putting our kids on the internet for millions of people to see. Why not just leave her off the video? Nah, she's not going to do that, is she? Because this one's the youngest and she's the money maker. Those look really good. I've never seen these before. Low pack. Oh, a new type of candy. What's the betting she'll be filling a mini fridge with some of these next week? This parcel here, she's just opened it live. So she's not checked what's in it beforehand and she's just letting her kids see it straight away. She doesn't know what's in this parcel. Strange, she could be sending a rabbit shit for all she knows. Luckily, it's a colouring book and some sweets, but she didn't know that, did she? And a sock. Wait, I need socks. She actually needed socks. I just went through all their socks. That's what I did all morning. I went through socks for 13 people and got an inventory of who needs socks. I call bullshit. There's no way she's going through all those socks every week. I'm pretty sure she just gets the kids to bin them after they've worn them once. I bet she buys more socks a year than JD Sports. This huge package here is for the younger daughter again. And it's from a man who lives in the Netherlands. Now any normal mother would wonder what the fuck a random stranger from another country would be wanting to send gifts to the daughter. But Lishy's not normal, is she? Come on now. And the gifts he sent are a fluffy blanket. The glows in the dark, yeah, that's pretty cool. And silky pyjamas. And she's okay with that. She's off a fucking rocker. Now, this is a bit out there, but it's something I, I saw it on Reddit. Someone said, like, how does she know there's not a hidden camera in the things that she's being sent? And it made me think, yeah, there could be. You can get cameras that are microscopic these days. Soft, silky smooth. Feels like a baby. And this is a balloon. <laughs> Yes, Alicia, it's a balloon. Simple things, please, simple minds. I'm gonna put Baba in her kennel real quick. We're still introducing the bunny to Baba. It's, um, yeah. yeah. Come on, you gotta go in your kennel. That was a story in and of itself. Traumatized my child for her birthday. I thought we were just going to look at a litter of 
bunnies. I didn't realize it was a meat farm, so... Okay, so they bought this rabbit for the youngest girl's birthday. And she's saying, she's making out like she had to buy the rabbit because it was a meat farm. But it doesn't make any sense. If you were going to see a litter of rabbits, it's because you wanted to buy a rabbit. What is it with the pointless lies? You didn't only buy it because it was a meat farm. You were buying one anyway. Just lying for no reason. And why would you want to get a rabbit when you've got like a puppy? Not just a puppy, a pit bull puppy. Who you've just said yourself can't be trusted with the rabbit. You've got 11 kids, you can't watch that puppy all the time. That rabbit's going to be dog food. And another thing, you have got 11 kids, does that mean that every time one of them asks for a pet, you're going to just get them one? So you're going to have 11 kids and 11 animals in your house? Yeah, because that's not ridiculous, is it now? It's the first day, so we got him on, no, we got him Tuesday. And like anytime we go near him, he like runs and hides, which I mean, obviously he came from a meat farm, right? I don't blame that poor bunny. Anyone in the right mind would run and hide when they seen Lishy coming. Poor bunny. Gone from a meat farm to being eaten alive in the Doherty Dozen house. Ooh. I've never thought to make waffles with sparkling water. This is a really good idea. Can't wait for Waffle Wednesday. I'm actually shocked that she's not already tried making waffles with soda. It seems like an Alicia Doherty thing to do. As you can probably guess, this package is from a waffle company. I understand this sort of company sending the things because it's giving them, like, publicity. I, I, I totally get the companies that send them stuff. But the thing I don't get is random strangers from the internet just sending them things. Um, Paige, we met you at the boardwalk. That's awesome. Thank you for coming to say hi if you saw us when we were on vacation. What the actual fuck is wrong with this twat? So someone in the live has just put on that they came over and spoke to the Doherty Dozen family when they were on holiday. And Alicia's just said thank you to her. That's giving everyone the green light to come over to them. Like, who says thank you for coming over and talking to us? Telling all these crazy fans that they're all welcome to come and talk to her kids. What the fuck is wrong with you? Another fan has sent her this, like, healing set with healing crystals and bracelets and shit like that. It's just a waste of time. You can't heal stupid. Speaking of stupid, where's Josh? He needs to come and supervise Alicia with his pair of scissors. Who the fuck lets her loose with a pair of scissors? Someone come and stop her. She's going to chop her thumb off. Maybe that's not such a bad thing thinking about it. Rodon... Rodonite? I don't know if I said that right. Bracelet. It gives patience and compassion, generosity and self-healing. Well, she definitely needs that. Oh, and we're building a gaming wall. It's like listening to a goldfish. Oh, look at this lovely bracelet. Oh, and we're building a gaming wall. How are they related? How did talking about the healing properties of bracelets turn into a telling us about a gaming wall? What? Seriously? Oh my gosh, I've been wanting these. <gasps> I'm so excited. I don't know what these are, but they're taco holders. For fuck's sake. Taco Tuesday just got an upgrade. It's going to be Taco Tuesday every single week. Well, at least we don't have to look at those stupid taco sunflowers she normally makes. I might have to change the meal plan. I already made the meal plan. So we're going to have to use these next week. I can see already that she's going to use these rainbow-coloured taco holders to turn Taco Tuesday into some sort of gay pride celebration because she just needs to show everyone that she's inclusive of everybody because she's Superwoman. Because I'm making taco casserole or something mm, sounds yummy can't wait for you to fuck up that one. Oh my gosh it's a giant box it's like a sub container oh for fuck's sake who sent to them that's the kids having subs for dinner every day for the next six weeks okay we got bored so we're going to look at this hole that someone's put in the wall behind her head there i'm only joking she's on her way to show us the media room that she's making for the kids but that hole in the wall is going to be what's in the tellies in a week or two because the kids have got no respect for anything because they've been taught that everything is disposable and money doesn't mean anything. And if they break it, they'll just get a new one. So that's four tellies on the wall there. And all the kids have got a telly in the room, plus one in the front room most likely. So there's probably like, what, like 16 TVs in this house. Not to mention the consoles and all the other shit that they've got. It's a good job that they live like a street away from the fire department because it's only a matter of time before the house goes up in flames because of all the electrical overload. And besides the safety point of it, why do they need a fucking media room anyway? Surely it would make more sense for the kids who share a room to have a room of their own. You could make at least two rooms out of this media room so the kids didn't have to share. 
Honestly, if brains were made of chocolate, Alicia and Josh Doherty wouldn't have enough to fill an M&M. Anyway, guys, if you've got to the end, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all and I hope to see you soon. Bye.